Oh my god, Melanie Mac said the F slur. Oh no, let's all be offended and outraged. So it goes viral and she could use it for clout, which in turn she could use it to fortify her audience and 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 grift off of it. Whatever shall we do as a Christian straight man? She needs freedom of speech. <laughs> By the way, we have merch and we sell this shirt in the description if you want to buy it. Skip it up and that up. Do you like live streams? Oh, you do. Do you like hot fire beats? Oh, you do. But you don't. You wouldn't listen to them for me because you don't think I make those. Well, I do, and I have two channels in the description. RTU Streams is my live stream channel where I stream pretty much on a daily basis, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At least is guaranteed through Monday through Friday, and uh, I make music. There's another channel below in the description. Also, top pin comments. So check out my live stream channel, RTU Streams, and check out my music channel. Straight lace up at the Jill in the Snatch Bar. 1998 Labor Day. Shopping center in Pathmark. Ah, Melody Mac. Her and I have a history. She used to be an internet personality. She tried to be a YouTuber, and it didn't work out for her. She tried to be in the entertainment business. It didn't work out for her. She was even one of those hosts on GameStop where she said that her Christian beliefs got her fired. But I don't really think that's the case. You don't see that show at all anymore when you go into a GameStop because GameStop is dying. So when the entertainment industry was not calling for Melanie Mac because she has a screen presence of this porcelain bird, and before anyone says that I'm saying this about her because she's lost her mind, I have said it many moons ago before she even went down this right-wing grift path that her voice sounds like a banshee screaming in your ear. And her voice, at least at normal speaking levels, probably has been the bane of her existence and what has taken down her entertainment career. So what has she done to try to keep her name in the spotlight when nothing else has worked? She's become a right-wing grifter. And one of her new things that she loves to do is say the f -slur. Now, I'm going to say something right now. I don't condone this word, but I'm, I know what she's doing. So here's why I'm telling you to not clutch your pearls and not be offended by it. Anyway, we'll get into the story of what the whole timeline and how things transpired here where she made canned outrage and contrived outrage to get eyes on her. And then we'll discuss what she's doing because I've seen this a billion times before. So this is the first tweet that started it. It's no longer, well, you can't watch it on her Twitter page. I just tried. Uh, Drama Alert reposted it. And here is what she initially had to say. Keep in mind, this is the man that Travis, who used to be part of the side scrollers, who is now in hiding somewhere. He used to defend this woman. Hi, Travis. How are you? Do you feel good being a gay man defending a woman like this? Gee, I wonder why you left the show. Anyway, Melanie Mack, who's pretty much a co-host on side scrollers now, came out with uh, this banger of a video. And the internet lost their minds. Anyway, this is what she had to say for whatever reason. Here. Melanie Mark is such a homophobe. Oh my gosh, she's such a transphobe. Oh no, what are we going to do? You know what? I am a Christian and I believe that homosexuality and trans transsexuality is a sin. Now, if you are fine with me believing that and you still want to be my friend, you are welcome to do so and I will still love you. But just note that I will be hoping and praying that one day you can turn from your sin and find Jesus so that you can go to heaven. If you're totally fine with that, cool. Let's be friends. If you're not, goodbye. So that video right there got the internet up in a tizzy. It's the lowest hanging fruit. It's a way to get people talking about you, and it worked. It was retweeted by Drama Alert. Hi, Keem. I know you don't control the Drama Alert channel, but you are Drama Alert, so... How you doing? Hope the beard's doing well. Nice and pointy, looking good. So it continues because this is outrage is the best way to get eyes on you. There's plenty of people that are millionaires because of it. She's trying to get a piece of that pie. So the next thing she writes is, if you need people to affirm you, then you already know you're a degenerate. Gee, I wonder who she's talking about there. But again, it's all part of the plan. Not saying that these things aren't awful that she's saying, but here's why... 
you shouldn't be offended. And the best thing to do is just call people like her out on her bullshit. But let's continue. I'm not done. She's she's absolutely lost her mind, but it's also by design. But I do think she's in sh insane as well. She is a woman scorned. I would love to know what happened over the past five years that made her do this hard right. Because Melanie Mack was a much different person. And it like happened overnight. That's not natural. That's like a Dave Rubin kind of pivot. Sorry, Dave. Anyway, she continues on here. If you are bowing down to pagans and affirming their sin, you're bowing to an idol. Not only is there blood on your hands, but you are committing spiritual adultery against God. Read the Bible, call out sin, and share the good news of redemption through Jesus Christ. Yo, she's like, she's trying to get on like like the blaze or she's trying to be a televangelist i swear i swear to god that's what she's doing and then she writes that this is the stuff where it gets dog whistly okay armor up and she so shows someone there who's on the crusades you know that that's not dog whistling at all after careful consideration i've decided to become more extreme in my religious beliefs well, that's 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 good. Nothing like saying straight up at you or I'm a religious extremist. <laughs> that's good, Melody. That's a but you know what? It'll work. It'll work, man. She's going <laughs> to she's going to be the next host on the Daily Caller. No, she doesn't have enough screen presence, but someone will pick her up. I assure you. She reposted this. We shouldn't judge self-righteous raw sinners. Things soft Christians say when they're scared to call out sin as we're called to do, but see other Christians doing it. It's always out of context or completely unbiblical, which is funny because a lot of these people take because they, they pick and choose what they want to actually. Well, the Bible says this. The Bible says a lot of things in it. There's a lot of those things you just turned a blind eye to which I find quite funny, but this isn't a Bible study. But the irony of these people who use the Bible to judge other people, but then other things that are vices of theirs or things that they won't listen to, it's like, oh, I didn't see that in the Bible. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when it comes to other things, gay people, I read the Bible every day, so gay is a sin. Which one is it? I thought you you glanced over some things or you know the Bible inside and out. Oh, you know it inside and out when it's something that you affirm and want to believe in. And then she and this is what I always say that they do. Free speech platform, Elon Musk. And because her tweet got limited, you can't even play the video on her. It's there, but you try to play it and it doesn't play unless it's something with my iPad. Uh, visibility, this post may violate X's rules against hateful conduct. And she's crying, I'm getting my free speech taken away. Even though it's a private platform and even though I think sometimes Facebook and Twitter can be ridiculous, they're private platforms. They, they don't have to go uh, First Amendment. They're not a public service. And then people calling her out on her dress and her replying back. And then, hey, they're side scrollers. The Common Sense Podcast. Is this common sense, Craig? It's common sense to what you're trying to grift to, which Jay and I saw from miles upon miles away. And you know what? I think Travis did too. That's why Travis is gone. And then she, then she retweets this and doesn't realize the irony of it. It's crazy that mentally ill people actually dictate what we can and can't say on the internet. Yeah, it is crazy how mentally ill people dictate what we can and can't say on the internet, Melanie. Yeah, kind of like you. And then she has this other banger of a video post. If you call yourself a Christian and you're too scared of the LGBT cult, so you submit to them as an ally what makes you think that you could be beheaded in the name of christ during tribulation oh right you couldn't coward people like her make christianity seem so pleasant doesn't it make you just want to swarm to christianity where everyone's going to persecute you and you have people like her telling you that you're going to burn in hell doesn't it seem like a warm loving community <laughs> how about look there's plenty of christians there are even christians calling her out in my comment section and her replies but Man, if she thinks that she gets to sit on the pulpit and this is a good look for Christianity, even if you are a part of the LGBTQ community, oh boy. 
Uh, Costco Avril Ravine has something coming. Now, she posted a 20-minute video talking about this because, hey, man, you got to capitalize on the drama all around. Um, and it's a whole bunch of nothing how people are trying to cancel her, even though no one's trying to cancel her. As a matter of fact, I would be pissed off if she got taken down or deplatformed from Twitter or YouTube or any other social media site, because then she gets to play the victim. And when you get to play the victim, her simps and her audience will be fortified. And, and Melanie, I'll follow you anywhere. I'll support you with crowdfunding, or then she'll get a deal with rumble or lord knows where else because they're trying to silence her and she's she isn't able to practice free speech it's all a ruse man it's what it's all about and then she writes this and it goes on and on and on oh hey i'm, I'm seeing side scrollers up there again weird <laughs> it's like she's almost a co-host there now I didn't see that one coming, but she wrote this, and if you want to go read through her profile, because it continues on and on, she's making sure to capitalize off this as much as possible. I'm not going to be a pushover Christian. We're in spiritual warfare. Fighting battles isn't for the weak. Okay, Melanie, sure. And look, she's using the F slur down here again. Oh my God, I'm so offended. But... This is what they do, whether it be Steven Crowder, whether it be Candace Owens, you think of another, whether it be the quartering, they say something they know is inflammatory. Andrew Tate, he's trending right now. Gee, I'm shocked. They say something inflammatory. The internet loses their minds. They get coverage. The, then they may get deplatformed from somewhere, which please, for the love of God, do not deplatform this woman. They get to use the deplatforming to play the victim, and either they get crowdfunding or they get a nice, cushy deal with some alt-right or free speech i'm sorry i don't like using the term alt-right free speech platform where they get a sign-on bonus and cha-ching it's the same thing melanie i've seen your career for a very long time i've seen you try to be in the entertainment business i've seen you try to make it on youtube i've seen you try to do many things like with gamestop as well but the reality of it is, is that none of it worked out. You didn't have the talent to be in the industry. You don't have the screen presence. It doesn't matter how you look, but you need to have the screen presence to keep people engaged. And Lord knows you don't have that. So what you did when everything else didn't work out and you're playing the game right, as we see here, is you went down the grifter path and you're creating canned outrage and you're capitalizing off of it. It's the lowest hanging fruit. And for everyone out there who is offended by this, I'm not saying what she said is right, but you want to know the best thing to do is to not try to deplatform her. Let her stay in a platform so we can laugh at her and we have all the receipts of the stupid crap that she says. I'm telling you, let her stay around. She'll dig her own hole. She's doing a fine job right now. And I'm sure years down the line, it'll bite her in the ass. It'll take time, but it will. Make sure to sub to my live stream and music channels. Link below in the description. I live stream pretty much on a daily basis. And I have a new song that I'm working on right now that's pretty much done. Check both of those out. Top of the description. Pin comment. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Angry Asian man.